Being a new mom can sometimes feel overwhelming, filled with lots of emotions and things to do. But here's a secret. Art can be your companion, your escape, and your way of finding calm amidst the storm. Motherhood. Weaving moments of pure love with threads of challenges and sleepless nights. In the midst of this beautiful chaos, art becomes your ally, your refuge, and your gentle reminder to care for yourself amidst the care you provide. Let me share a story with you. A story of a brush and a palette gently guiding a new mom through the maze of emotions. As you dip your brush into vibrant colors, you immerse yourself in a sanctuary of self-expression where the canvas becomes a mirror reflecting your journey. Each stroke, like a whisper, reveals a piece of your story, emotions too complex for words alone. Art becomes your language, allowing you to paint your joys, your fears, and your dreams. In this sacred space, you find permission to honor the mosaic of your emotions. This canvas becomes a realm where self-care blossoms. With each brushstroke, you give yourself permission to breathe, to let go of worries, and to reconnect with the essence of who you are beyond the role of a devoted mother. Art becomes a gentle reminder to nurture your own spirit, allowing it to thrive alongside the love you pour into your little one. And as you paint, something magical happens. A subtle dance unfolds between your soul and the universe. Your artwork becomes a vessel carrying whispers of healing and spiritual growth. In each stroke, you infuse a piece of your essence, inviting the divine energy to flow through you. Art becomes a sanctuary where you commune with your inner self and the wisdom that resides within. It becomes a gentle reminder that you are not alone, that you are seen and understood in your journey of motherhood.
I want to invite you to check out my website for new arrivals. I've created scripture art prints featuring a theme word assigned to verses that have been keeping me afloat during hard times. With the current climate of this world, I wanted to share some of the scriptures that have been empowering me and created something unique and eye-catching that will always grab your attention. These art prints are customizable, so feel free to reach out if you want a different scripture or word. So remember to click the link in the description to order your art prints now and to surround yourself with inspiring and uplifting messages. So I am still working on this painting. I'm not sure where I'm going with it yet. I've been learning a lot about color harmony. So I'm just approaching this painting as a study. That way it will also remove pressure off of me and not feel like it has to have like a finished look or it has to be something that I could sell and just you know, just really just focus on the process and understanding the process and also understanding what type of uh, shapes that I'm gravitating towards and also what colors I prefer. Another thing that I wanted to share real quick, I used to use this palette to paint on. And what happened was I didn't take good care of it. I didn't peel off the paint when I was done. And so now all the paint kind of just got piled on top of each other. And it's really hard for me to color mix on, on this palette. So I purchased another one, but one thing I realized is that because now that I'm color mixing more, the paint would dry really fast. I'd have to use a medium just to keep the paint from drying too soon. But I learned something fascinating. I was watching this video and I saw that this artist took butcher trays. You can also use a ceramic plate for this technique. And what you do is you take two or three sheet of paper towel, you wet it, you put it on the bottom, then you take saran wrap and you put it over the paper towel. And let me tell you, it keeps the paint from the paint is like the paint doesn't dry at all and it's so much easier to color mix by doing this it makes things a lot easier doing this technique so i recommend that you try this once again it's paper towel you wet it you put it on the on the on the bottom of the tray and then you take saran wrap and then you wrap it over it and oh i don't know who discovered this but it's genius it is genius and I'm so glad that I I saw it. I just wanted to share that um, for those who are learning how to paint and want to color mix. So this is a technique that I truly wish that I knew early on. It would have saved me a lot of time. And it's also it also makes the cleanup process a lot easier. That way you're not scraping the paint and you're not throwing it down the drain. All you have to do is just lift up the uh, saran wrap and just toss that. So it's a lot better for the environment as well. So let your creativity be a sacred act of self-love. As you paint, listen closely to the whispers of your heart, for they hold the secrets to your well-being and growth. Let each brushstroke be a tribute to your resilience, a testament to the beauty that arises amidst the storm. Embrace this creative sanctuary, and may the colors you choose, the lines you draw, and the textures you create reflect the profound love and care you bring into your life. This is your invitation to nurture your soul through the art that unfolds from your fingertips. Each moment spent in artistic expression becomes an act of self-compassion an oasis where you replenish your energy, connect with your innermost desires, and honor the magnificent woman you are, both as a mother and as an individual.
I'm still working on this piece and I don't know where I'm going with it yet. When I first started painting, I felt like I had a clear direction of where I wanted to take this painting, even though it is a study, but I was using the design that I already had in my art journal to lay the foundation down. But then on day two, I, I was just in a weird mental space and I feel like it showed, like I, I kind of strayed away from what I originally wanted to do with this piece. What I'm going to do, I am going to take some glaze and then build on that. And the reason why I'm going to use glaze is because the glaze will allow you to see what's underneath it. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to flip the canvas to see what that looks like. Now the reason why I flipped it is because I have a darker color here. Now for me personally, I prefer my darker colors to be on the bottom of the, of the canvas rather than the top. Reason being is that I feel like when you have the darker color on the bottom, for me it feels like it's more grounded. Another thing too, because painting for me is my therapy, I have to be very intentional and deliberate on where I place my colors. That also goes to my own personal work, but also work that I'm selling because let's say somebody suffers from depression and they want, they want to be around things that are uplifting, that's going to automatically put them in a joyful mood and then now if they turn around and they look at the painting and all they see is like this dark color on on top of it it you may not realize it but it's subconsciously it does something to you so i i, I like to I, I for me on the therapy side i keep that in mind and i prefer for the dark colors to be on the bottom so that it can have like a more grounded feeling to it and make you feel more rooted and grounded because even when we look at earth and the ground like the soil it has more of like a it, it's a darker color if i turn it around this way now this looks interesting this looks interesting because i still have the dark color down here and then now the yellow is on top so now it looks like it's the sun but what i'm going to do i'm going to paint this one. i'm going to start painting this way this doesn't mean that this is going to be the final way that i keep this canvas i, I still like to flip it around to look at it in a different perspective to see what's going on with the painting. I haven't been clear-minded. Last week was really weird. So I know like there's some things like I have to clear out and I'm going to clear it out while I'm painting. When I approach my painting, I approach it as my therapy. This is where I clear out these different emotions or things that I'm, I'm feeling. This is where I release it. I just wanted to just talk through what I'm doing with this painting. I want to start talking throughout my process in my YouTube videos because I know abstract art is not easy. It looks easy, but it's really not. There's so much that you can learn from abstract art. There's so much that you can learn about yourself. Even if you're not an abstract artist, I do recommend that you at least try it. Try it to see because it's something about it that's just so spiritual. I'm going to continue working on this painting here. Remember that in caring for yourself, you become a radiant example of strength and self-love for your little one. By carving out these sacred moments, you demonstrate the importance of nurturing the spirit, fostering a legacy of well-being and resilience. So let art be your sanctuary, an embrace of colors, shapes, and textures that intertwine to tell your story. In each stroke, you invite healing, understanding, and an expansion of your own inner universe.
If you found solace and inspiration in this video, I kindly invite you to like and subscribe to my channel so we can continue to share stories of empowerment, self-care, and the magic of art. So keep painting, keep expressing, and may your journey be forever graced with the colors of joy and fulfillment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.